The regular sexual um, conduct of the modern day is extremely, extremely pushing men and women in the direction of losing the energy, which is the opposite of what tantric sexuality teaches us or has been teaching thousands of years ago. So modern, this is like, I cannot emphasize enough how much of a difference this aspect is making in the whole lovemaking experience. Regular sexuality with loss of energy or at least not cultivating the energy properly and then the tantric way of uh, love making where energy is cultivated and energy is harnessed and used and properly properly um, like crabbing the bull by the horns so to speak so sometimes people have the uh, the idea that when we talk about tantric sexuality then that means you know, Kama Sutra, or this means some very crazy uh, contortionist types of uh, positions where you cultivate tantric sexuality, or that means some other kind of long hours of sexuality, of sexual practice, and so on. And these are all superficial approaches, actually. The love making in regular sex and in tantric sex physically is looking pretty much the same there isn't much difference there it's your personal preference like if you are into more of this kind of that kind more slow more fast whichever but on a physical level things are looking very much similar however the difference and the profound profound difference is coming at the energetic level and this makes it very very different between the regular sexuality and the tantric sexuality so in tantra it is known that sexual energy is something very powerful very potent and it's uh, we call it even kind of like the nuclear energy in your system and we know how powerful that is you know nuclear power stations are much more powerful than a little windmill somewhere on the, on the field right so the energy makes the difference and this concept is extremely important tantric sexuality is a play between the couple between the yin and the yang energy it's a kind of like a dance of energy we can say it's where two polarities are coming together one of them representing more of the yin the other one representing more of the yang and yes often we can say that it is especially manifesting stronger the yin and yang polarity between man and woman but it does not mean that k couples cannot cultivate tantric sexuality and cannot cultivate the energy they can uh, lesbian couples in the similar way but there is always even if it is the same gender uh, relationship there is always uh, a need for the yin and yang polarity to exist between the partners and the couples so essentially what is happening is that a couple comes together let's say like for the sake of just making the lecture more easy we say man and a woman but if any of you are uh, practicing any kind of other sexual encounters and sexuality that is not an issue in any way but just i'm saying man and a woman instead of repeating every single combination which is out there all right so the man and the woman are coming together the woman is coming by definition the structure and energ energetic structure of the woman is manifesting more of the yin energy or the shakti energy and the male structure or the man's body and the man's energy structure is manifesting the yang energy and the shiva consciousness the shiva energy the masculine energy and the profound thing is happening when these two polarities are especially strong and when they come together in the act of love making the energies start uniting in a very very magical way and this unitedness is happening only if the sexual energy is contained is managed and there's like a container uh, which is holding the energy inside and it is not lost because for a certain energy buildup, which is making a man or a woman experience what we call an orgasm, for this buildup to happen, 
certain time is needed, certain pressure is needed, certain quantity of energy is needed. In regular sexuality, however, there can still be a strong polarity, like a strong pull between the man and the woman, and they are very, you know, aroused by each other, just looking at each other from afar, and already you feel a buzz inside you. You come together, you start making love, and so on. But since energy is not cultivated in the regular sexuality, then a very different outcome is happening. You can still be maybe having pleasure, maybe even having orgasms, although that is also often very questionable. But there is never a container happening where the sexual energy can really build up, can build up pressure, can build up intensity, can build up this fuel. And that fuel, that power, that pressure is what is creating the very, very profound effects that the tantric sexuality is promising and is talking about. And here we are talking about orgasms which have a tantric nature. So in regular sexuality, men, women can experience orgasms, right? However, a tantric form of orgasm, again, is very much different and feels very much different. And moreover, the results of it are very, very much different.